So we're about to hook up the Anchor 767 to 600 watts of solar. And we're gonna run a, a small window unit, it's a 5,000 BVU. So we're gonna start, it is at nine o'clock in the morning and we're gonna run it to about three o'clock this evening. And we're gonna see how it does. We'll see what kind of percentage we got left on the battery. And uh, then after three o'clock, we'll turn it off and I'm gonna start charging it back up with solar before the uh, sun goes down. So first thing we wanna do, I have, we're gonna run it through the transfer switch. So this is the transfer switch here. We're gonna plug it into the Anchor 767. Turn it on the AC inverter. Now, I'm gonna swap over to the one that has that plug, which will be, let's see, trying to figure out which one that is. That's gonna be B. So that's the plug that the air condition's on. So let's go uh, turn the air condition on and see where we at. This is the air condition we're gonna be running. I'm gonna turn it on high all the way. It's high there, it's on. And then uh, I'm gonna shut the door to this room and we're just gonna let it run back here. And then we'll throughout the day check the uh, power on the Anchor 767. I haven't hooked up the solar yet. I'm about to go do that right now. All right, so we got the solar hooked up. We got the air condition is pulling, the air condition is pulling 405 watts. I do have the solar hooked up, but it's not bringing any power in until after we get down to about 98% or so before it starts charging the power station back up. So it's probably gonna take a couple minutes before we get there. And then uh, we'll come back and see what kind of solar we're bringing in at nine o'clock in the morning. And then like I said, we'll check it throughout the day. And we're gonna run this until three o'clock this evening and see where we at. All right, so we'll check back in in a little bit. It's been about 15 minutes and uh, we have 243 watts of solar coming in. See what time it is there. So we're at 9.15 in the morning. I'm expecting that number of solar to increase throughout the day as the sun comes up. But uh, that's as long as the clouds play along. Right now I got full sun out there. So uh, if we can continue to get full sun, that number should increase and should get to at least about 500 watts coming in. The air condition is pulling 419 watts, but it'll start pulling more watts as the the heat increases outside today. It's supposed to be like 101 outside today, so I'm sure that air conditioning is gonna be pulling a few more watts before it's over with as well. So we're gonna let it keep running. We'll come back in about an hour and see what kind of watts we got coming in. And then, uh, like I said, we're gonna run this to about three o'clock this evening. So we've been running it for one hour. We have 94% of the battery left. We are now bringing in 342 watts see it's been a little over an hour so at this rate of saying we can run it for 12 hours so we're going to keep running it and we'll come back in an hour or so and see where we have with it like i said i'm expecting to bring in more watts as the sun continues to get higher as long as the clouds stay out of the way but i'm also expecting to probably st start pulling out more watts with that air condition maybe another 15 to 20 watts. I think I've seen it up to about 450 watts during the heat of the day. And as I said earlier, it's supposed to reach 101 today. So it's gonna be a good test part. So we'll come back later on and see where we at. All right, so we have 411 watts coming in, 455 watts going out. We're at 89% left on the battery. And we're a little over two hours runtime. So we'll come back in a couple more hours and see where we at. We're starting to get some good sun now and I'm expecting, I would say probably at least from 12 to 2.30 or so, we're gonna be in full sun as long as the clouds co cooperate with us. So we'll come back in a couple hours and see where we're at. All right, so we got 498 watts coming in, 475 watts going out and we can see it's been a little over four hours now that we've been running. Still have 80% left on the battery. 
So looking good. We'll come back. Like I said, we're gonna run this until three o'clock. So we'll come back and see where we're at at that point. And then uh, we're gonna let it keep running. This is 600 watts of solar panels hooked up. I have three solar panels in series. I'm not using the anchor solar panels. I'm actually using some uh, panels that I have permanently mounted, not the anchors or uh, portable solar panels. I'm not using those. I'm just making sure I'm staying within the 60 volts is the max that you can have coming in with the anchor uh, 767. You can have a max up to 1000 watts coming in with it, but the voltage has got to stay around 60 volts. So we got each one of those panels I have out there is about 20.2 volts. So we're right there at it. Haven't had any issues with it. So if we had another 400 watts coming in, that would be great. But like I said, right now we just run in and see what we can do with the 600 watts. So we'll come back in a little bit later and check where things are at. So we're gonna see what kind of temperatures we got coming in or coming out. In this window again. Yeah. We got about 55 degrees coming out. So that compressor, I believe, has been running all day. I do not think it cycled off not one time. So uh, just showing you that the compressor is on. And it's nice and cool in this room, and we'll give it that. So it's been right at six hours now. We're about to stop it here. We have 70% of the battery left. We're pulling in 397 watts from the solar. The air conditioner's pulling out 482 watts. So not bad for uh, six hours. We did have full sun today. There wasn't really no clouds to talk about. Temperature was probably between 100 to 101. So uh, with the solar panels, let's say if it's rated at 100, watts you're not going to get in that, that full 100 watts maybe 80 watts of it if you're lucky if you're getting in good sun so with 600 watts we was probably averaging 400 watts coming in in the better part of the day we actually should have done a little bit better than that but it was hot i don't know how much that affected the solar panels i know a couple times i've I seen 500 watts coming in but well, i never did see nothing like five, 550 or anything like that coming in with the Anchor 767, you can actually hook up 1,000 watts of solar panels. So uh, you had another 400 watts coming in, you would have been over the 486 watts that that air conditioner's pulling in. So you would have been charging back up during the day. Wasn't the case today. Uh, I thought we'd be close to it. We were close, but as you can see, we're at 69% after six hours. Still isn't bad. You can add an expansion battery to the Anchor 767, which will double your watt hours. So it comes with 2,000, a little over 2,000 watt hours. You add the expansion battery and you're gonna double that. You have 4,000 watt hours. You'd have plenty of time left if, if that's we had that hooked up today. So at night on the same system with that, well, not the same system, but the sa same size system with hooked up to that same air condition running through that transfer switch with an ex the expansion battery, so I'm with over 4,000 watt hours, I can run that air condition for at least eight hours. We used to turn it on about 10 o'clock and then about eight o'clock or so we'll turn it off. So uh, we, we run it with no problems at night, but the air condition isn't pulling as many watts as it is right now, because usually it probably stays about 400, 350 to 400 at night. And as you can see, it's pulling 478 because it's hot out there. At night, it cycles on and off like it should. Also, it will kick off sometimes. I don't think that compressor ever kicked off. It stayed on all day because of the heat as with anything whether it's the power stations or the solar panels or anything we're talking about in the videos if you're interested in them we're going to have a link in the comments below and you can go down there and that'll bring you into our web page and you can get on there and shop around whether it's you're looking for an anchor 767 something smaller or something bigger thank you for taking time out hope you enjoyed the video all right i got the air conditioning unhooked and you can see we're just charging it back up we still have the solar hooked up to it we have 300 84 watts coming in now. If you wouldn't have had no solar, I'm gonna answer that question for those that may be wondering, if you would have had no solar and you was trying to run that air condition, what you would do is take the watt hours and then divide that by the watts that you're pulling out. And I'd say that air condition probably averaged 450 watts. And the, the watt hours of the Anchor 767 is 2,048. So once you divide that, you're gonna get about four and a half hours run time. So I would say to be safe, uh, four hours runtime and just to be safe with your math, I'll give it a little leeway there with the extra 30 minutes. 
So we'd say four hours. You throw you an expansion battery on here and you're gonna get about an eight hour run time with that, with that air condition I have. That's a 5,000 BDU. And like I said, at night, I had the, a system very similar to this, the same watt hours. And during the night, I run it with eight hours with no problems. And it's not pulling the 450 the whole time because it, it does cycle off. It turns on and off at night, the compressor does like it should, but today it's so hot, it, it was not gonna turn on and off. Although that room back there was nice and cold, it was good and cool in that room, but that compressor ran constantly the whole time I was doing this test. So that just kind of give you an idea of how long it would run that unit with that without any solar you're looking at about four to four and a half hours you see what we did with the solar if you hook up an expansion battery you're going to run it between eight to nine hours without any problems and that's during the heat of the day that same air condition it's going to be different for different size air conditions some will use less watts some will use more watts so you just take the watt hours by the watts you're going to be using and divide it and that'll give you an idea about how long it should run all right thank you and Hope you enjoyed the video.